Good day guys, welcome back. Um, so normally when I do these videos, I usually do gameplay or important parts of the gameplay. Um, unfortunately when I was playing the game, I forgot to um, turn the um, replay buffer on. Because for some retarded reason, you actually got to turn it on manually. Much like we got to do when you do recording and streams. Um, so yeah, there won't be any video of the game itself. Um, in the future, I'll make sure I have it on so we don't have this issue again. But yeah, guys, I just want to talk about the demo. So I played the demo of Visions, Visions of Mana. So I played it for probably about, it's probably about an hour to two hours of a game. It's actually a long demo for a demo. Usually, I'm going to sound my age here, but back in the old days, guys, the demo was very usually very, very short. Um, but then again, this was... Oh my. I played about 20 to 30 years ago, so you kind of understand things would change. I didn't know demos were still a thing, so um, yeah, I'm thinking about adding demos to my um, walking points. So I'm going to have demos, I'm going to have in, um, impressions, which is basically the first hour or two of the game. And we'll have review, complete reviews at the very end of the game. So all three of them are going to be very important to us. I think they'll be a good um, addition to the channel, along with all my TCG stuff, um, game collecting or collecting in general, unboxings and shit like that. Um, so yeah, guys, we're just going to have a chit chat about. So, I started the game, guys. Based on the game, what I saw in the game, I would assume that the game's only probably a few, one to a few hours into it. So, it basically put us into a spot where you have most of your party, and the they give you experience to combat. So the combat is really, really good. Actually, I actually like it. I mean, it feels great. I mean. it's it reminds me of so much of Secret of Mana, which ironically we only beat it not too long ago um, on my Let's Plays and streams. So yeah, um, that's actually the reason I did those Let's Plays to be honest, because it's coming out. Um, there are a few other games that got uh, Mana series, but I want I want to get to my hands on at some point, um, one way or the other. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, the combat is really good, guys. It it's nice, it's friendly, it's quite engaging. I mean, it's not too complicated, I don't think. I mean, it did take me a few minutes to get all the buttons together, 100%. There is a lot going on when you're talking about the all the buttons. You've got your magic, as usual, and your um, elementals. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit more um, different to the uh, Secret of Mana. I'm going to be referencing that a lot, by the way. Because, like I said, it's very similar to it. Um, like I said, the combat is very Definitely, definitely an upgrade in the physical department, but then again, it was a Super Nintendo game, what do you expect? It was made like 30 years ago. Oh my god, I'm old. No. Sorry guys, getting distracted again. Oh uh, yeah, so it was done like a 30 years ago or some shit, um, but yeah, it's a really good game. I enjoyed it. I start, we start in the like, icy area. Uh, apparently you're supposed to be going to a new area, so icy area is a good spot for you to demo to start, because it's kind of linear, so it basically tells you to go from here, there um there's no real other ways you can go you just have to follow the uh, map and now the map i actually do like because it tells you pretty much everything you need to know for the most part there's a few things that won't tell you but most things it tells you for example all the chests that are hidden throughout the uh, map is relatively easy to find uh, it's not too complicated because the map kind of tells you where things are it doesn't tell you what they are and it doesn't tell you it doesn't necessarily tell you where how to get it it just shows you on the map that it's something's there. Go and investigate. That's about it. Um, like I said, once we're done with the ice area, you go to a new area, which is more of a um, more of a field type area. Now this area is completely different to to the normal game because, the, like I said, the secret of mana basically you're only really going from one place to another. This one, you kind of at least in this area, it's kind of open. You can go pretty much anywhere you want. Um, so for example, I went chess hunting and practicing my fighting and my battling skills, use magic on enemies, things like that. Um, the physical, uh, actual graphics of the game, guys, are fantastic. I'm really happy with it. I can't, I would not be surprised if that game becomes a, you know, a game of the year contender. Especially in the JRPG department, because it's really, really good, guys. I can't say it enough. So for the, um, for you guys, I really got pre-ordered. I paid it, I'm pretty much ready to go. I am once the 29th, I believe, when it comes out in Australia. I am going to stream it, and I'm probably going to do a Let's Play of it straight away. That'll be one of the first games I'm going to be doing for my second 
um, Let's Play on my other channel. So, on that channel, I'm going to be doing my normal Let's Plays, which I'm currently still doing. Um, Then ones will be for older games, slightly older games. They, they could be up to a, a few, I'd say a few months to a few decades. Um, So, yeah, I'll be doing all those. But the second one, I'll be concentrating on new games that come out. So, those ones will be longer than the earlier ones, the other ones, but they'll be enjoyable. I think they will be enjoyable, guys. Um, I gotta s figure out why my voice plays up. Sometimes my voice goes soft and it becomes a big problem. Other times it's like this where it's not that bad. I can actually tolerate my own voice. But yeah, it is it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for this game to come out, guys. Um, so as I said, um, you're exploring this new area. You're just going around um, hitting objectives. Um, there's side quests, which is a, a shocking thing to me. I kind of expected something like this to happen, but... Yeah, there's some side quests. There's about five in total, I think. Nothing too extreme. Um, they explain how they work and how you um, look for them and all that. Now, the side quests in themselves are not that hard. Um, but you can look on this, the questing department. It also gives you a good amount of information on the map because sometimes it'll tell you on the map where you got to go. And that makes life so much easier. You don't have to set guess every time in order. It, it's kind of a nice flow. Not to a point where it's too hard to do them, but it's also not too easy. I really like that about the game, guys. Um, like I said, it's a fantastic game. So there's about five of them we've done in the demo. Um, so basically, you just go around killing enemies, looking for things, looking for chess and um, chess. There is something else you're supposed to be looking for, some elemental stuff like some crystals. But because um, those things are not designed for where we are now, um, they're for further down the track, guys. So I can't do that, obviously, in the demo, because it's a demo. You only have a small area to play. So obviously, that's something we'll have to come back to in the um, actual game itself, which we'll be doing. Don't you worry. I'll be making sure I record it. And I will be making sure I improve my um, chapters department so you guys get a better idea of what I've done and where they are. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we head out. Basically, head to the next town. The town's not too bad. Um, there's a bit of a story there. I liked all the um, talking. Um, there's one character, I forgot her name, probably her name's Karina. She's got the coolest, um, southerner accent. I mean, you can't, you can't miss it. If you, oh. I noticed all, all four characters, guys. No, it's three characters. I'm you know, it's about three slash four. It depends where you're at. When you're probably in a game, it's four, but, um, but beginning of it's pretty easy. It's just, um. Fowl, I believe his name is Karina, and some of the dude I forgot his name. Hey, give me a break. I, I remember two out of three. I'm shocked at that. I usually forgetful. Um, but they all got their own little backstories. Well, I'm assuming because you can hear some of the backstories as you go through the area. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's a good game, guys. I like the music, the sound, definitely the detail. I mean, I would not be surprised if this, like I said, this would be one of the top ending games for the end of the year. Um, I'm glad it's out coming out now, or well, end of this month, because it gives it plenty of time to get the um score for the, the awards later this year, which, assuming it still comes out, which is about, what, I think November to, or December or some shit. I can't believe, guys, it's already the 8th of the, the eighth month. I mean, Jesus, it's gone fast. Um, But, yeah, guys, once you get to the next town, um, it's a little bit more of a story. Um, You run into a jerk. Um, he chooses you of stealing a key, you find the key, and you make a fool out of the jerk. Basically, that's how it works. And then, guys, as you're making your way to the next area, which is by boat, um, you run into your first major boss battle. Now, boss battles, guys, are interesting because they're not as, um, I'm going to say, easy as the um, secret of mana. The secret of mana, all you have to do is level up your magic and then just pound the, the boss to the ground. This one's a bit different. It's a bit more flexible, and not to mention you don't have to level up everything individually. So congratulations to that. Uh, they took that out, thank God, because I hate that. That mechanic really bothers me. I don't mind if they had, like, let's say, they had one for attack and one for magic. As long as magic as a whole and attack as a whole. But if you have to do, like, like in Secret Manor, where you have to do individually, like, let's say you had a sword, you had to do that individually, and then you got the spear... A boomerang, the bow, and so on. That was really annoying. That peed me off to no end. Great game, just that part was really annoying. Um, 
Oh, yeah, based on what I've seen, it's a really good game, guys. I recommend you giving it a download. Um, it's available for, I think, everything at the moment, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's out for most of the consoles. I'm not sure about Nintendo, but I know it's out for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Um, I believe it's Steam and PC. I don't know the demos on there, but I know game will be coming on there. I got mine. I got mine as the PC, um, the Xbox edition. So I will have to make um space for my hard drive on my hard drive. Sorry, of course I'm pretty much out of hard drive space because it's called Xbox Game Pass. And I hope just keep downloading games without finishing them. So I got to start. I want to get, like I said before, one of my other channels. I want no, it's on this channel. Uh, I want to get another hard drive where I can just store games, so I don't have to keep deleting them. Um, I just prefer to store them than delete them because you never know what Microsoft's going to do if they end the game or something. I want to have a record of it. By the way, guys, at, like I said, it's a good game. If I'm gonna, I can't really rate it like I normally rate an impressions or a full-on review because, as I said, this is only a. A small part of the game. I reckon it's probably nothing more than like two or three percent of the game. That's it. Based on what I've seen, I say it's going to be a big, map, a decent sized map. It's going to be a, a fun adventure. I reckon nothing shorter than 20 to 24 hours. I don't think it's going to be super long, but I think it'll be good. So, yeah, guys, that's my uh, opinion of the game so far. I mean, once it comes out, as I mentioned, I'm going to be streaming it. I'm going to be doing less plays on it. And I will be getting a refuel out of it as quickly as possible. I've still got a few refuels to do. In the next few days, guys, and a few other things on this channel. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget to hit the um like button, the share button, and definitely don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That's going to help us out more. Like I said, guys, um, the more um, how can I say, the more subscribers and all that I get on this channel, the more things I can start doing, and more active I'll be on this channel. So I'll still be active regardless. Uh, you know, I'll be putting a bit more thought into my projects and shit. So, I'll eventually sure help me out getting um, new games and shit. It'll definitely help us out in the future. Um, so, yeah, guys. Also, don't forget to check my other two channels out. So, I've got the um, Sharp256 Minecraft. That's one word. And the other one is Sharp256 Plays, which is my Let's Plays channel and my stream channels where I play game, other games other than Minecraft. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um... Like I said, don't forget to subscribe button. It's going to help us out a lot. Cheers.